The other day I got an email from a, uh, from one of my viewers, obviously, his name is Justin. He sent me an email wanting to know how to basically, he wanted to know how to set up a VNC from his PC to his Mac and from his Mac to his PC on his home network. So I told him, Justin, well, I'll do a video on it. He said, okay. So we're going to do this video on how to set up a VNC connection um, from your PC to your Mac and from your Mac to your PC. It's very, very simple, to be quite honest, and the way I'm going to show you is using basic standard tools that are available for free, um, and all you need to do is know the uh, local IP address of each machine, and that's pr and it's pretty simple. So here's what we're going to do. The, the tools I recommend to do this, by the way, there's, there's Remote Desktop for Mac OS X. Uh, Microsoft has a co uh, has their own version of Mac OS X's remote of their of their remote desktop client for Mac OS X, and I'll give it, I'll give download links to all these things in the show notes and when I write it up on my blog at besttechie.net. But here is what you need: you need the remote desktop client for the Mac, and on the Mac as well, you're, you're going to need to turn on something called screen sharing. And screen sharing is uh, you can turn that on via the sharing. Um, um, option in the control in the system preferences you'll see something called screen sharing and you, you turn that on and then it'll you'll be and you'll be able to connect to it from your PC so once you have those two things on your Mac the screen sharing enabled and the remote desktop installed now what you need to do on your PC is download a client called either tight v tight VNC or ultra VNC both are good both I recommend they, they both work well and essentially what you'll be able to do is then connect with your PC to your Mac using one of those clients. Now you don't need to install the server. Um, you only need to install the viewer. The viewer will be, allow you to connect to your, uh, your Mac just like I'm going to show you right now. I actually connected to my MacBook on my PC which I'm using right now. I can't show you my screen but I can, I'll show you that I'm going to minimize the mail client which is open right now. As you can see that, that's mail open over there. Now, if I get I'm going to I go to the the VNC window, watch this. See that it's gone. I didn't touch my Mac. I didn't touch the, totally remote. Now I'm going to open it again. Open the window. If you don't see how it just opened again, uh, I can open something else if you want. I uh, uh, let's see. Let's open uh, Firefox for example. See if Firefox is going to open up any second now. Firefox. I'm going to load my uh, restore the session. It's just like being at the computer and using it. Um, I just loaded up Firefox, and now I'm on uh, the Google, my Google homepage. So uh, I can go anywhere we want, just like if we're using the Mac itself. And now I'm on my website. And so that's all you have to do to get to the Mac. Now, for the PC, like I said before, you downloaded the remote desktop client for the Mac. And then what you do is you, you open that up. You open up the remote desktop client for the Mac. And what you're going to do is you're going to, first, well, actually, the first thing you have to do on your PC, you have to make sure that you enable um, remote, remote access from another computer. So to do that, you go to um, My Computer, you right-click on it, you go to Properties, and you're going to go to um, the, uh, it's, I, on Vista, it's under Remote Settings. You're going to go there. On XP, I believe it's under, um, if you go to the Properties, and then you go to, uh, there's a Remote tab in XP I believe if I recall correctly and basically you're gonna allow connections from other computers running on uh, on your network you can um, either you can either do it that way on the network level authentication way or you could do it the less secure way whatever way you feel more comfortable with it will work or should work um, just fine so once that's on and uh, also make sure allow remote assistance is, is ticked as well so once that's done you're gonna head over to your Mac and basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up the the um the client that is uh, the remote desktop client and you're going to input the your your computer with windows its local ip address enter the password and you're going to connect and you're going to do the same exact thing that i was doing on the mac just now you're going to have full access to the machine you're going to be able to uh, open and close start applications run applications do it like you were just actually at the machine itself and that's probably the, the simplest way to do it, um, using the, using either tight VNC or ultra VNC on the PC side with the viewer, um, or and then using remote desktop client on Mac OS X 
to connect to your PC and make sure and it's really simple in Mac OS 10 you just it's in Mac OS 10 Windows you just tick and you and you apply and you're good to go once you have those applications installed it's very very simple um, I really hope that helps Justin if you have any other questions uh, feel free to email me back at besttechie at besttechie.net as well as you can post on our forums besttechie.net forums or you know come by stop in the chat room we're always here if we're not here if I'm not here at least the chat room is always here no matter what it's on 24 7 but if I'm not here ask in the chat I'm sure someone could help you out and uh, you know I really hope this helped or hope anyone actually hope it helped anyone who has a question on BNCing to one from one, from one machine to another so you're watching the best tech on that show thanks for watching we'll see you next time